have this HR21 Mark II machine. This is hybrid version. And the problem is with the throttle solenoid adjustment, engine stops and revs is not right and is a problem here. So I just want to show you how the throttle solenoid needs to be adjusted. So the first thing to look at is the bottom lever here. Okay, so this lever provides the fuel to the engine. Okay, and it has to be all the way to the left. So if it is, as right now, is not set correctly. If engine is revving at the high revs, and if it's at the light loads, so maybe it's not going to be a problem. But when we have a heavy load on the pump, engine will start bogging down, and it's not going to have enough fuel to run. Um, then electric motor will kick in and will start boosting the engine. So if the lever is adjusted incorrectly, and so that electric motor will be helping the engine much earlier than it should do, which will cause the batteries get drained much faster. Okay, so this lever all the way to the left, and this can be done just with this silver bolt in there. It's a 10 mm spanner, and uh, you can get that all the way to the left. I'm not sure why the people are adjusting this. Sometimes they think maybe they need to adjust that to get the revs right or... But you cannot control engine revs on this machines manually by adjusting the valves because everything is done by ECM module. And this is proportional solenoid, it's not on and off. It is proportional, so the machine knows what the revs should be and knows how much they need to open the levers here. So this bottom lever has to go all the way to the left. Let me do this on here quickly. Okay, that's all the way to the left now. There's no movement, you see. All the way to the left. That's the way it should be. Now the next lever is up here. This is this is the lever we're controlling to to stop the engine or to increase engine speed. So if you open the lever, the engine revs goes up. If you drop the lever engine will stop and uh, the problem I see here is this spring right here so that has to be removed okay because when this spring is fitted it's working in opposite direction so this spring is forcing the lever to go that way and uh, the throttle solenoid is opening the lever in this position and it's not moving as free as it should do so this spring must be removed should pop out through the side here. Yeah, right there. So that has to be disengaged and you can cut a tip off here so no one's gonna try to re-engage this back in. Okay so I have cut a pin off and uh, so there's no more possibility to re-engage the spring. So every time that should be coming, coming back down. So the next thing to look at is adjustment on this screw right here. Okay, this screw helps with the engine stop and the distance between the end of the screw and this housing it should be 17 millimeters. Okay, so it's, it's roughly about 17 mils. So put a ruler on it. Uh, it's around 18, 17 and a half. Okay. So, that's where it should be. So, for the engine stop, most important that spring and that bolt adjustment. Okay. The next thing is to look at is alignment of the solenoid itself in this position here. Okay. Because you can see here now, it's off square. I would like to have this linkage sitting this way. Okay, and what can happen if this is misaligned? It can happen the side force on on the shaft will not allow the free movement of the solenoid. It's gonna move, but it's not gonna be as free as it could be. I think I can hear the squeaking noise here coming out, so I think that's because of this alignment. So what I will try to do, I will try to loosen up this bolt right here. 
Okay, the stop one and the twist uh, solenoid assembly, the solenoid bracket. So let's see if we can just do it the right way. Okay, that is loose. So I think I need to twist this now. This direction. Yeah, so move a little bit, but it's not. So I need to adjust this one as well. All right, let me get me one more spanner. So I will adjust the linkage as well. Just remove the linkage here, um, just to show you how it should be moving easily. So this one now is completely free, you see? So that's moving freely. This one is moving freely. Because when you're going in tangent stop, the only way to bring the spring, this lever back to the stop bolt is by force of the spring because then you lose the power on the solenoid and the, the internal spring will bring this all the way back okay so now i'm gonna refill this in and i will try to realign just one more thing to look on this one here on this specific machine you see this eyeball here it doesn't move look i cannot move it with the fingers it's just it's just sitting solid there so if that's not moving then you're possibly not going to have a good high revs or engine stop. So WD-40 is our friend here. Should free it up. Okay, so that's where the program could be as well. That should be moving easily. If that doesn't move, you're never going to get it working. You're not going to have a high revs or you can, may have a high revs, but they, it's may going to be stuck on a high revs. All random problems can start with this. So if I can get this freed, I will use it. If not, then I'm gonna have to fit a new one. But I think it's, it's becoming easier and easier now. So. Okay, let's move it free now. All right, so I can use this. I can reuse this. It's no problems. You align okay. this solenoid here. Okay. So now, if you look, that seems more straight up. Okay. And to adjust the solenoid, I have to loosen up the both screws. The one here and the one right under there. That one. Yeah. So that one and that one. So. The one screw that opened was not enough, so I have to loosen up both of them. But now it's moving freely, nice and smooth. And this is able to move as well, no problems at all. And the only thing you need to make sure that nut is all the way back, as far as it can go. So the shaft is all the way into this eyeball connector. Okay, that gives the best pullback on the spring so that should be it okay so the bottom lever all the way to the left spring here has to be removed okay this bolt adjustment 17 millimeters and alignment here okay so alignment this has to be in line no side force on the shaft of the solenoid and that should be no problems with the stop or no problems with the engine revs.